Friends are visiting this afternoon and we're going to bottle some wine. So I'm going to prepare some rabbit for them. But I might have to tell some of them that it's chicken. And I'm going to cook it in some Viognier. This uh, was made in 2016 from uh, grapes from California. I hope it's still good. I begin by heating a Dutch oven like this for a couple of minutes, two minutes actually, over a very low heat. Then when the timer goes off, I add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and salt, pepper, and some hot pepper flakes to taste. Add some grated garlic and onion. And let that sit two more minutes. So I'm going to add the diced celery and carrot. After four minutes, I move all the carrots and celery to one side, and a rabbit always has a little bit of fat in its cavity, so I take that out and I put it on, I put it in the Dutch oven and let that fat render out for about four minutes over medium heat. It's time to take out that rabbit fat, a lot of which has rendered out, and I'm going to add now the bigger pieces of celery, carrots, and a bay leaf, and also some carrot. I mean some celery leaves there as well. And let that sit about four minutes again. Low, low heat. It's time to add the bigger pieces of rabbit first for two minutes. And in the Abruzzo region where I'm from, um, rabbit is very popular, even more so when I was a kid. Um, times were tough, but there were always plenty of rabbits around. The big piece is one minute on each side just to sear them a little bit. And this is a small rabbit, so I'm going to put all these pieces in at the same time, except for the giblets. I'll save those for the very end. And let them stay, I'd say, a minute. Now, I'm not going to even show you how I cut the rabbit because I would be totally embarrassed. And if my aunt ever saw me cut it the way I do, I'm sure she would laugh at me. I just use a pair of scissors like that and do the best I can. This is a tradition, and I need to keep it going. I add the giblets, by far my favorite part. And unfortunately, this rabbit came headless. I bought it at Market Basket, and I guess they don't like to put them on the shelf with the heads. But the head is my favorite part as well, especially the brains. I added the juice of one lemon, and about that much wine, and I'm going to cover it. Let it um, finish cooking for about 20 minutes. 10 minutes have passed, so I turn all the pieces over and I added a little bit of rosemary. After 10 minutes, it's time to add the butter, turn off the heat, and put the cover back on. Once the butter has melted, turn all the pieces of rabbit over and then spoon some juice over all the pieces and cover it up again. Rabbit is definitely finger food. It would be almost impossible to eat this with a fork and a knife. Mmm. Sweet. Tender. Juicy. And it goes so well with this Viognier. Salute. Grazie per la compagnia. Ciao, ciao.